This is a quick LTA regarding SlideShare, a new, easy-to-use web-based tool. Hello, I'm Charles Ansorgi, Professor of Educational Psychology at the University of Nebraska. Have you ever wanted to share PowerPoint slides with students or colleagues? If you have explored various ways to do this, you know it can be done with some ways being easier than others. One of the simplest of all ways to share slides is to use a new web service that is called SlideShare. SlideShare is a free internet-based service. There is a need to subscribe to the service and then begin the process of uploading not only PowerPoint slides but also PDFs and open office files. On the screen you see the logo for SlideShare along with a few of the commands that are options. The slides for this quick LTA have been posted to the site for viewing there as well as on YouTube. What are some of the potential uses for SlideShare? I can think of several and I'm confident that a few of the ideas I'll share with you are likely not a complete list. The most obvious use is a way to archive PowerPoint presentations that have been created for various reasons over the years. Another good use for SlideShare is the sharing of a document for individuals who may be attending a presentation at a conference. How many times have you attended a conference where the speaker distributed handouts and failed to print enough copies for everyone who attended? Posting the slides on the internet is an easy way to resolve this problem. Faculty on college campuses who are not able to share supporting documents for classes might also consider this resource. Another way not mentioned as a use is the creation of picture montages. Here's a set of four pictures taken on a bike ride I took last summer from Vienna to Budapest. Flickr may be a better resource for posting pictures, but this seems to work okay. Another possible use of SlideShare is to use it as a public location for class presentations where other students in the class might provide feedback. This is an option that is available with SlideShare. Finally, posting presentations on SlideShare could be a way of backing up documents if other means are not available. SlideShare was released in October of 2006, so it's relatively new and it's free. The service permits users to upload PowerPoint, PDF, or OpenOffice files and share them through a YouTube-like interface. To upload files, it is first necessary to create an account. From the home site, click on the Upload button. Navigate on your computer to the site where the file to be uploaded is found on your hard drive and then begin the process of uploading. Each set of files has its own unique URL. Listed on the screen is a site where some of my slideshows are available. As an FYI, all of the files uploaded are public. That means anyone can view them. There are limitations for the service. First, there's a limit of 30 megabytes for the slide files, the individual slide files. There are no privacy options available. Everything is public. Finally, the original presentations may not be downloaded by a publisher or a viewer. This represents a major weakness, I think. The positive findings are the following. It's a means for sharing slides. Subscription to the producer of slides via an RSS feed is possible. Favorites may be saved and comments regarding slides may be entered. Slideshow is uh, clean, it's a fast, and it's a functional web-based program, and the price is right. The service continues to grow in popularity. I suggest you give it a try if you want a way to share slides with colleagues and friends.